Okay, so let's take a quick look at flashcards. Flashcards are a lot of fun. You insert them in blocks via the interactive category. There's two types. There's grids and there's stacks. Let's look at grids for, for at first. So in terms of the content that could be on a flashcard, there's text. So here you see a, a very typical flashcard scenario where you have a term on one side and then you have a definition on the other. So that's an example of text-based content. It could be short or long. Here's an example of, again, a short term on one side, but this is an image on the back. And there's two types of images that you can select when you're working with flashcards in RISE. This is what we call a full card image, where it covers the entire card. And then over here, I've been sort of like an articulate logo, and that's a centered image. So the options that you have for, and I'll go and edit here, the options you have for whether it's the front or the back is to see this drop down. You could do text, you could do a centered image, or you could do a full card image on the front or the back of any card. Here's another example of this in action. Um, apples, pumpkins, and berries, for example. And actually, I could go into preview and show you this, so it's a little cleaner. So here I did all full card images on the back. That's really nice. And this works beautifully on your phone, of course, as well. Um, because it's Rise, we just always do the right thing. So if I scroll down here, you know, these will stack because obviously there's not room for three, three up width on your phone. But it would be, for example, here. And then you see this last one I was working on. So this might be a more typical use case. Um, again, you can be really creative where you might have uh, your exec team, for instance, and then you can click on each and see their name and title. You could even put a short bio in there. You have room for longer text that will scroll. So that's a quick overview of some of the options there. Now, um, one thing in this flashcard grid format, if you want, there's a little hack here that if you edit you can delete one of the cards to make it two up. And you see what happens when it's two up like that? They get larger. So if you want that larger kind of thing, and then you could duplicate this. So if you want like four cards or six cards or whatever, um, you can get this kind of larger view here like that. Of course, if you add another card to this, it'll go back to that, that three up kind of smaller. One other thing you can do is I want to duplicate this one right here. And remember we saw that there was also a flashcard stack. So I'm going to convert this into flashcard stack. So flashcard stack presents the flashcards one at a time, right? So you see how it says one to three down here. You interact with it. You go to the next one. You flip it and so on. So different ways of presenting the content. Really great click and reveal interaction type. Have fun with it. Excited to see what you do.